Now, as part of effort to combat illegal bunkering, which has been identified as a form of economic sabotage, the Nigerian Navy has handed over a vessel arrested with over 2 million litres of crude and 14 crew to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, for further investigations and prosecution. The executive officer of the Nigerian Navy Forward Operating Base, Boni, Commander Ibekwe Ogbadu, said the vessel, which was flying a Nigerian flag with 14 crew members, including 13 Nigerians and one Ghanaian, was arrested on the 5th of January offshore Boni Fairway Boy with its automatic identification system switched off for eight days. On his part, a representative of the EFCC, Arasa Shaka, said investigations would be conducted to ascertain the offences levelled against them, while prosecution would follow immediately. MT Prayer 1 was arrested offshore Bonifayway Boy. The world soul was flying Nigerian flag with 14 crew, 13 Nigerians and one Ghanaian. Preliminary investigation revealed that the vessel was laden with 2,458,350 liters of crude oil, while she had 10,000 liters of automotive gas oil in her service tanks as her bunker. Taking over our ceremony, we will subject the, 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 the vessel in question and the crew members to thorough investigation and ensure that everyone involved is. Ibekwe also handed over a vessel empty Saibu to the Nigerian Maritime and Safety Agency in Masa for further investigation and appropriate sanction, saying it was arrested for automatic identification system infractions and an expired Nimasa certificate. The vessel was arrest arrested for automatic identification system infractions as well as expired NIMASA certificate. Based on Eastern Regional Control Center intercept, the vessel was tracked in Nigerian waters on 19th November 2021 from when she went stealth and was later detected 23 nautical miles south of Lomi. Partnerly, it was also noted that the vessel was seen entering Nigerian exclusive zone on 15th of February 2022 and anchored at Anchorage prohibited area in Lagos on 16th February 2022. When they accepted me last month of 20, so and they said my offense was my AIS is off, so which I led them to understand that uh, my AIS off due to my machinery that failed because my AI is being powered by the generator. So, and when my <coughs> generator is being uh, down, so the AI is, is no more working at that time. For so, days. for when I re rectified the problem, then the AI has come up back. For 90 days. So, which I explained to them. So, I have a failure of AIS, which I later. He maintained that the vision of the current Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Owal Gambo, to deploy all necessary measures to curb economic sabotage remains the focus of the Nigerian Navy. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.